This is the 2022 Audi RS e-tron GT. Today is all about taking this very fun, very fast, and very electric car quick through some of our favorite canyon roads. We're not gonna talk about charge curves and things like that. It's not about this as an EV, it's about this as a freaking performance car, and we're gonna have some fun with it. We should start with the name, actually, because it's kind of complicated. <laughs> RS e-tron GT. RS means fast. E-tron means electric, GT means the not crossover thing. It means the, the slope down, coupe over, whatever you want to call this. But that name also suggests that this is essentially a Taycan Turbo. Not the S because, you know, Porsche needs the best, but a Taycan Turbo nonetheless. This is a Taycan Turbo, everything Audi. And to me, that's a very good thing because I think as we're gonna talk about later, I advocate for this car more than I do the Porsche and I never thought I'd be saying that. Let's talk about why this thing rules. 590 horsepower, quattro all wheel drive, dual motor setup and a fat giant 93 kilowatt hour battery pack underneath our butt. With that boost that we just did that launch control, over 600 horsepower and over 600 pound feet of torque. It's an absolute monster. I think the two-speed transmission really alters this experience from any other EV because the way this thing picks up while it's already going very quickly is insane. Every EV is fast off the line. Like even a Fiat 500E or whatever, yeah, it'll run out of steam, but if you punch it in an EV off the line, they're all quick. This is the first electric vehicle I've ever driven that's quick starting at 60 miles per hour, foot down, and the pickup is just insane no matter how fast you're going. You could be traveling at 70 on the highway, you put your foot down, blink, you're at 110. <laughs> it's, it's insane. This has a softer, and in my perspective, better suspension than the Porsche. The tuning is different on this. This is more calm and livable daily. If you're absolutely throwing it into a corner, this is softer than the Porsche. Whoever actually ends up, you know, forking over the big sum for this car is gonna enjoy the fact that it's a little bit more comfortable to drive every day. That's true. Um, now, up here in the canyons, you are better off in the Taycan. As you say that, the handling in this- Oh, phenomenal. Is unbelievable. Phenomenal. The way this thing attacks a corner, how neutral, how balanced it is, is just so impressive. Because we're driving an Audi, everybody's gonna to wanna to know if it understeers. The first answer is no, unless you add throttle mid corner, in which case you do, it starts to push. I feel like this one is almost a little bit more willing to play around in that sense. Definitely. Whereas the Taycan is a little bit more serious. It's, it, it feels like the Taycan is all serious. This is a little bit more play. I think the body roll also helps with the driving experience because it's leaning a little bit more because it's a little bit softer that makes it also a little bit more fun because a little bit more drama going on. But the thing I love is that you just keep your foot neutral on the pedal and whenever you need to add just a little bit of throttle input, you don't need to wait for a downshift, you don't need to wait for the engine to pick up. It's just immediately you can add power and so, so, so quickly. Uh, speaking of power, you gotta find a way to slow that down and that's where I bring in these optional carbon ceramic brakes which are heroic and oh. <laughs> That's a girl. Almost, almost became tired. almost became your lunch. The tires are the limiting factor of this car in right. the corner. Everything else is ready to hold on and help you out and hang out. The tires, it's not the size of the tires either. I mean, they're big section tires. It's just the fact that they're the low rolling resistance. They, they squeal. They squeal a lot. And that's the first thing that's like, nope, I'm done. That said, I think you want to turn driving it. Um, you behind the wheel. Okay. I know the first thing you're going to mention is the steering, right? Yes, I am <laughs> going to mention the steering because that is something that's very different, I think, from this car versus the Taycan. And not just the steering feel itself, but the steering wheel. Because the Taycan has this tiny sort of like GT3 RS type wheel. Whereas this has a more traditional, almost like RS7 wheel. This steering is actually significantly lighter than that of the Taycan. But that is very, I would say at least, in line with what Audis do. That might be the thing I like least about it is that they managed to engineer some Audi into this with really, really light steering for no apparent reason. Because 
a little weight back and forth in this steering setup would actually do a lot of good, I think. I have really, really grown to love this car, the way it looks. Ascari Blue, put it on everything. Put it on a Q5, put it on an <laughs> RS3, put it on every single car that Audi makes because it's perfect. Well, I agree with that. I will say, I saw one of these on Instagram <laughs> Ooh. and it was green. I almost called the place in an order. <laughs> like I was like, forget financial stability, let me have that because, and, and honestly like the, the whole front end is gloss black because it's almost like it yeah. has one enormous black grill. I think it works depending, it works better with some colors compared to others. I think this one, if it had a little bit more blue, I wouldn't be against that. Uh, I saw one of these in bright red. I think the, the yeah. red and black works, green and black works. So you at least have some color contrast depending on what color you get. This has something called a year one package. I'm assuming it's only available in the first year they sell this. Ask really? me how I figured that out. <laughs> Um, it's a $20,000 package. Everything becomes carbon fiber, including the inside, which I love. There's this huge piece in front of us. It's in the door sills, the mirrors, and it has a carbon fiber roof, which rules. It means you don't get a sunroof, but it just looks so damn cool, especially against this blue paint. This doesn't have 97 screens inside. It has one screen in the middle, one screen in front of the driver, and actual real dropped from heaven buttons <laughs> for the air conditioning. You wanna hear the tunnel again? Yeah, yeah, please, Cause... blast it. <laughs> Honestly, the effect of the tunnel feels like we're taking off. Yeah, All right. and the little like Jetson spaceship noise that right, you right. pump into it is right. like really cool. Absolutely. I love that they've done that. This car, if we're talking like, if I had a fun meter, I like, think you've just given birth to the fun meter. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a graphic for that. <laughs> Rate it out of 10 on the fun meter. What are you giving it? I think this is a solid like 8.5 out of 10. I'm giving this a nine out of 10 on the fun meter. The only thing that might take away from it is the tires because I think that inhibits it going full attack. Um, but I'm just so blown away by this thing. Yeah. Beyond the canyons and just living with a car day to day, this is, I, I think the best car I've ever driven. Okay, you're forking over 160 grand for this one as tested. 139 it starts at, yeah, it has a crazy add-on on top of that. Right, of course. And you know, to get into a little of the consumer friendly stuff, like this still has the 800 volt, volt architecture, which means that this car is pretty much future-proof. Yeah. As the chargers get better and faster, this car will adapt. So you're not just throwing 160 grand and having an outdated like iPhone no. in like two years. No, you know? this hangs with the time. Right. Um, as we're reaching the end of our road, thank you so much for the support and please subscribe to the channel so we can deliver you more videos just like this and drop us a comment. And be sure to follow us at Motor1.com on Instagram. Sounds good, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs>